Hello everyone. In this video, in my lab, I'm going to patch my primary and standby database. Here, this is my primary database in the white background. And here I have my standby database. I have installed, download the patches from Oracle support. Here is it. This is the patch, latest patch. And I have make the pre-request of all patch version. I have unzipped this patch here. This is the number. Same thing I have did with my standby database. So file is ready with me. Let me start. How I will do, if you go CD to this bash file, you will find a readme.html. Let me see this readme. Let's see what it is. Here is it. In the readme, there is a part mentioning that to install this uh, the patch uh, or release update. And this is the latest one for 12.2, by the way. So to install it, this patch, they will mention it here to you. This patch is data guard standby first installation. And there is a document that will explain how we are going to install data guard standby first installation. It's mentioning here in this part, in this document, the step to perform this. It's a three phases step. Step first, step number one, first step perform the patch binary in standby only. Then we will evaluate this patch in the standby database. Then we will complete with three options, whether to apply this in the primary or do switch over and apply it in the new standby only or roll back on standby. So let me go with this first one, how this will be formed. I will shut down data guard broker this will be only shut down in the database immediately. Perform the binary, start the standby, and do your testing. If you have active data guard, you may start it up directly. If you don't have, you will start it in mount stage. If you don't use data guard broker, you have to use this command to activate the media recovery process. That's the only simple step. Then you will continue you're patching in the stand in the primary database, whether performing the switch over and patching this one, or you can shut down it, pass it. I will go with the simple face steps. So here, here I am. Let me go back to uh, my databases here and let me ensure everything is work as well. Here we go. Let's let's here check the data guard broker configuration status using DG. MGRL, TG MGRL, and connect it to it. And then we will write show configuration. So before patching, I can see everything and sync successfully. Status is fine. Let me exit from this. Let's run the Oracle O patch. So it's Oracle Home. All batch, all batch version. Check the version per request. Yep, I'm reaching 36. If your version is less than, please watch my live video how to update all batch utility version. What else? I need to check my current list batches or less inventory. This inventory will show you all details. Sorry, list batches. Uh, have a mistake batches like this with ES. It's my bad. Yup, here is it. There is no batch yet being in, in installed. There is no interim patches installed in this Oracle home. So this is first batch that I'm going to install. Here, this is in the primary. I'll do the same thing in, in, the, in the standby. So it's all batch. Or batch version because I'm going to batch the both homes here. Less batches I will use, and then I will use the same inventory as well to see the details. So, this no interim batch and list inventory as well. I'm going to check just to see there is no batch at all, there's no details. So I have seen this. Now I'm going to start. So as per the readme of bash 
fashion i have to stop everything running in this standby phase so how this i will go i will use listener stop first then i will enter the sql plus shut down immediate shut down immediate while it's shut down let's go back to the readme and see so in order to apply this patch or even before i will check this patch pre-request this should be your database even while it's run so i can go back to my primary database even here cd to the patch and using this utility of all patch to check this barrier cost of this patch. So whether you run it in both node or first node only, cost batch homes will be exactly the same. So it's passed. Don't need to run it here. However, even though if you would like to run it in both, you may run it in both. Would be much better to run both. This can be run even while your database is up and running. You don't you need to check the pre-request while it's down. So it's passing and all patch successfully here. So next to do, I have unzip completely CD and I can apply it. However, if you can see before this, you have to shut down all your database if you go details of this so my database is down listener is down no processes stuck with the binary yes now i can use our patch apply so let me start this or patch apply and wait for this to be continue press yes would you like to proceed they check yes this home will be ready yes it's ready All right, we have only one error come to us for this. Please look at this standard error. You can rerun this command. Operation not permitted to so this. I think the owner of this ignored, but most likely this batch being successfully applied. Yeah, but this is owned by root. So this is as per the Oracle document, if you can see this error. Exactly, whether to rerun root.sh or as per them, operation not permitted can be ignored safely. And this is already mentioned in the fair because this is long a long time not patch this first batch actually or we can run root uh, dot, uh, sh script in the rtbms to solve this permission issue i will safely just ignore this for time being maybe later on i will run this but as we are oracle this can be ignored safely so what's next now if we revert back to our Batch, we now can start the listener and we have to start the database standby water and mount startup if it's active data guard you can start it up or you can start it up to mount level so let me start it up in the mount level here And because I'm using data gap broker, there is no need to do any further action. Media recovery will be started by data guard broker directly. All right, while this is done, I may check this DGMRL, DGMGRL, and show the configuration. There may a delay, a, a gap still, Oh, it's good. But in your production, definitely during the time of this, there will be a gap. Give it some time till it's got success to make sure that your database being synced between standby and primary. Now let's go to the primary. As per the readme now, I can start primary 
bashing. How this will be done? Again, I will stop the listener. Listener stop. Then I will shut down the database. Shut down immediate. All right. And again, Oracle Home or Batch Apply. Oh, it's my bad. Sorry, I forget this. Or Batch Apply. Yeah, like this it should be. It will ask whether checking the pre request again. Yeah, but proceed, please. Yes, my home is ready. By the way, in production, it's advisable and recommended that you take a full backup of your home, tower it or zip it in somewhere before patching, because this is, will be the only way to roll back your patched home by removing this and unzipping the, the one that you patched it. If in case there is something occur during the patching, they call it out of in, in home or an out of place patching. Even you can save the time by patching another new home, copying this to another one and patch it, then just rerun and re-register re this home in your inventory and start up this database with different and little bit more complicated steps need to be performed, but it will be much safer than patching directly your home. All right, same error, which is we found it in Oracle document. This can be six, uh, ignored, and this has been successfully. Now we will start the database here, startup, listener, startup, sorry, listener, listener, start here. Let me just check listener. Status it's up and running here as well in the standby. Uh, before we proceed, let's see what's the step officially in the document. So, after we apply, we have to load the modification the SQL database. There is no conflict, so we will use this in this section. Standalone database, we are not running in multi tenant, so and it's not a rank, so we will connect, we will start it up, then we will quit, then we will run this utility. Sitting to here and running the system. So let's proceed. Uh, be, be, be careful that, that we will run this on a primary database only, because whatever change in the data will be shipped to the standby. Because of that, we patch standby first binary, then we will patch binary and data patch both in the primary only. So we have started the listener here. Now I'm going to look into the SQL and start it up, start up. Here we go. Exit clear. CD to this path. And running the data batch in verbose mode to see what's going on. Let's run it. All right, let's check the all batch status and see the list of patches on primary phase. So Oracle Home all batch, all batch list batches. This will list the latest update, uh, the all Applied batch in this binary home. Let's wait till it's listed. That's it. You can see so the batch now has been applied. Let's check the same command in the standby database. It's so one primary, it was batch here. Should get the same result now. Yep, same thing. It has been batched and updated. Last things we have to check the data guard status. 
So show configuration, we'll, we'll list as the status. It's success and the status is fine. In production, actually, this will take a time till it's good sync after dispatching. So we have patched the primary, we have patched the standby in this lab, and we bash uh, using the standby first because once we bash the primary, the data bash will be bashed there, it will be shipped to the standby. So with this video, we have completed this batching. Thank you for watching my video of batching primary and standby database, and see you in another video. Thank you again.